veritable treasure trove. That's a perfectly good sock. And an entire courgette. Well, I think you mean zucchini, Mrs. Thornhill. Oh, so wasteful. They're not like you and me. Is that a toothbrush? What's in that plastic bag? Soup? Oh, my. Oh, I'd say the bulimia's back, wouldn't you? <laughs> Nail clippings? Yay or nay? These tights are barely laddered at all. What on earth is that? Oh, I think it's Mexican food. So exotic. Prune juice? It really is all the rage. Just ignore us. Yes, don't mind us. Pretend we're not here. Okay. You're not Jock Cranley, are you? Actor and artist? I love your work! Oh, stunt double? Oh, our favorite show. Mrs. Thornhill, snap! Watch the birdie! Oh, pretend to throttle me. <laughs> yes, yes, like you did on that, on that poster you did. Yeah, okay, all well, that would be my pleasure. <laughs> oh. uh, like that, huh? Yeah? Oh. Like that. Maybe something oh. like this? Or oh. like that, huh? You like that? That's enough, huh? now, dear. You like that? Oh. 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 oh, hey. Oh. Thank mm. you. Wow, that's quite a woman oh. there, huh? Oh. We are not worthy. We're, We're not, not worthy. worthy. We're, We're not, not I'm, worthy. I'm, I'm not Jock, uh, what's his name? Cranley. Big star in the 80s. We well, love celebs. Oh. That's why we came to Tinseltown. Yes. Yeah. Before we met you, we were trying to break in to Bruce Spade's house and steal his rubbish. The things these stars throw away. Oh. They're not like you or me. <laughs> Mrs. Thornhill has the most unbelievable collection of celebrity underwear and bathroom products. Things they've actually used themselves. You guys have a great vacation, all right? I gotta go. We could do with some help. All this climbing over walls and rooting through bins. It's such a business. Nigel's got an arthritic knee. Yeah. What do you, uh, what do you need? Just a few Vinewood souvenirs for my mm -hmm. museum. No, no, look, look, look at this map. I mean, a lot of these places have famous people living in them and some that are just hanging about. Bring us some things. I'd be very thankful indeed. Americans are the most wonderful people in the world, aren't they? The best! <laughs> Such fun! <laughs> <laughs> It's time to give back, Mark. You were out of your mind. Okay, yeah, fuck Christ. This isn't world. worth it. Just take the damn club. Word up. <laughs> I said it, Mrs. Thornhill. I, uh persuaded Mark Fosberg to donate one of his golf clubs to your Museum of Dysfunction. Oh, bravo! It will take pride of place on the wall above Jill von Krastenberg's pregnancy test. <laughs> Speak to you soon. I love Americans. You're all so brash and uncomplicated. Trends. Don't mind if I do. I can't believe we're part 
flirting with Love Fist's manager. That's so cool. Oh, some of the shit I've seen. Okay, which one of you cupcakes is Willie? Hey, who the fuck are you? His dentist! Well, he's still downstairs chatting up some bird, man. Whoa, his dentist comes to him? That is so cool. You know, if Jez and the guys hadn't gotten so into yoga and probiotics nowadays, we'd all be dead. Well, I burned through the last of my dopamine on the second comeback tour in 05. I bet I could hit your G shot every time. You... Hey, man, no more autographs. Hey, that's okay. I want something more per. <laughs> you want to go, do you? Do you? Musical icon! Let's say my work is done here. Guess what, you crazy English fruitcake? No, I'm oh, I'm dreadful at guessing, aren't I, Mrs. Thornhill? No, she can't hear me. She's washing out a nappy from Samantha Muldoon's dustbin. Yeah, uh, one gold tooth, courtesy of Love Fist, complete with complimentary DNA. Marvelous, marvelous. Oh, Jock, I knew you wouldn't let us down. Toodaloo! Just one more. Hey! <laughs> hey! He just took my clothes! Yo, what do you think you're doing here, man? This is private property. Just pretend I'm not here, kids. <laughs> He's crazy. Hello, this is Nigel. Please be quick, I'm roaming in the United States of America. It's me, you nutcase. I picked up some clothes from your friend Tyler Dixon. There's even a skid mark. What fantastic news! Wait till Mrs. Thornhill hears about this. Oh, she will be pleased as punch. your pooch? I'm a big fan. Dexy, Dexy! That's your fault, you stupid bald prick! Quick! Go on! Go after him! An ambulance! Shut the fuck up! It's a guy chasing a dog! What is it with you people? Doggy! Come on, doggy! Be good to daddy! <clears throat> gotcha, you little bastard! <clears throat> there, there. I know, this is weird for all of us. I make a batshit crazy lady very happy. <clears throat> okay, huh? now get back to Jerry before she uses this as an excuse to go back to rehab. What needs a skin piece? Thank you. 
Chalk! Celebrity News Flash! Maniac steals collar from Carrie McIntosh's dog in Rockford Hills! Oh, how delightful! Mrs. Thornhill will have me sporting that in the bedroom before the week is out. <laughs> oh, I, I, I joke, of course. <laughs> we really can't thank you enough for all the effort you're going to to make our holiday so special. Ah, don't mention it. I always enjoy meeting people more chemically unbalanced than myself. You don't see that in Bracknell. Well, I never... They really have no shame. There you are, hmm? Jock. Yeah, I got you that stuff. Oh, great. Thank you. Where's your wife? Mrs. Thornhill, she's mm -hmm. not my wife. She's got a husband and two lovely kiddies at home. We met online. It's n nothing sexual. Where is she? Well, she's been trying to throw herself under celebs' wheels. <laughs> well, well, she can throw herself under my wheels anytime. Oh, <laughs> I knew you were funny, Jock. Yeah. I knew I would like you. C can I have a hug? Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, Come here. Come here. Uh, I've got a pr protruding hip. It's not a semi. Nigel! John, no. you won't believe what's happened! What? Only Ald and Appley walking. He actually walks! He walks walk among, among us. us! Well, then what are you freaks waiting for? Well, that's a long story. Of mistaken identity. And a lot of lies. Stalking is not what I would call it. You're me. I told the judge I thought it was unfair. Yes, anyone's trousers could have come undone at that point. Exactly. Jolly bad luck. And we were such fans. If only we could talk to him. Yes, I know it was only his lawyers and agents. They ruin everything. If we could only get him somewhere private. You see, like that little lockup I know. No problemo. Look, there he is! Oh, shit. It's that crazy English bitch again. Nigel, he remembers me! To the chariot! Jock, you drive. Quick, he's getting away! I'm on, Jock, get in! Hurry, we're going to lose him! He's taking a left turn down the high street, Jock! Did you ever imagine we might get a private oh, audience with Al Di Napoli? Only in my wildest oh, dreams. All those nights spent role-playing in Mother's utility room. If only we'd known. I loved him in the Redeemer. Oh, Nigel, do your Al Di Napoli line. This is terrible. Motherfucker. <laughs> It's uncanny! <laughs> oh dear, poor Jock must think we're batty. Oh, don't be silly. We'll never get that deposit back. Don't be silly. Glad to see you on the proper side of the road, dear boy. Oh, I won't! Jock, do you see that lorry? What the fuck's a lorry? Have a little faith. Anyone would think this was my first kidnapping. I hear that behind his charitable public face, he's remarkably right-wing. Uncan, but hope. Liberal in the bedroom, conservative at the border, Mrs. Thornhill. <laughs> I love this guy. He's going into the car park. The car park? No worries, mate. What on earth will we feed the man? I hadn't even thought of that. He probably eats sushi or... Careful! Or quinoa. Is that even how you say it? What in? Oh, my giddy aunt! Is everything okay there, Earl Crazy Cakes? My prostate has taken quite a beating. You have to lower the tone. Oh, I hope he likes us. How could he not? This lockup you prepared sounds charming. Just be yourself, Mrs. Thornhill. This level of derangement, I'm impressed. Little by little. Is he going through the hospital? <laughs> uh, seems rude not to follow him through the window. That's a thrill! Ah, uh, would you like me to escort your guest of honor to the trunk? Well, if you don't mind. 
Oh, come here, you! Come on! Come on! Let me meet your biggest fan! Oh, ah. you're fucking crazy! Oh, it's Get off me! me. <laughs> You're good to go! Ah, a true gentleman. This is so exciting! Nut jobs. I'm all fingers and thumbs. He's making such a fuss, these celebs. Oh, they're not like you or me. Ah! Ah, apart from you, Jock. <laughs> Would you go and get him one of his favorite pizzas? No. Well, then I don't know what to do with him. I mean, he hasn't eaten for a few days. You've kidnapped a major movie star, okay? Now, you can either leave him somewhere and hope he's been sufficiently scared shitless to stay quiet, or you can send him on the kind of trip he won't come back from. Oh, a trip! Such fun! Oh dear, oh dear, what a palaver this is! Decisions, decisions! If you could just handle this, Jock... Mm. Oh, you'd be doing us such a favor! I'm really not one for goodbye. trunk of this car and B being a horrific scenario of my choosing. Oh God, please, no! I, I, I have money on me! Lots of money! Good to know, well, good to know. I'll be sure to grab that after we're done. Oh, shit! 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 Please, let me go! I thought you were a big, tough action movie guy! all those movie critics. Are those crazy old bricks with you? Just me and you, honey bun. Did you have fun with those two? They're harmless, aren't they? They are not harmless. Those fucked up power games. The things that woman may be due to her feet. Ah, you lucky boy. Older women are to be cherished. Like a fine cheese. Sometimes the rind is the best bit. What do you want? Cars? Drugs? What about art? I, I got shit loads of art. I said no, you wouldn't want that. You barely know me, Al, and you're already judging my cultural standing. I find that very offensive. There must be something you want. Other than a cheeseburger, a cold beer, and you shutting the hell up, I'm all good. Whatever they're paying you, I'll double it. They're not paying me anything. Then why are you doing this? Well, one, I'm a bad person. Two, I understand that love takes many forms. And three, most importantly, you've seen all our faces. I've made the mistake of not tying up loose ends once before. I won't tell a so, I promise. We both know you'll go straight to the police. I won't. I fucking swear it. I could give you $10,000 right now. What is that smell? What do you expect? I'm fucking terrified! Diaper Denapoli, they should call you. Well, here we are, Al. Curtain's up. It's time for your final scene. Let me out! Please, no! Don't do this! Jock! 
we've been worried sick. I regret to report the sad passing of Mr. L. Danopoli. Train accident. Very sudden. I loved that man. We will remember him always. The way he was on TV before we met him. Not that any of us met him, of course. You two enjoy the rest of your vacation. <laughs>